Welcome back everybody to another edition of Maddie Views. Here back in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, Franconia Notch. And today we're gonna do what's called the Franconia Ridge Trail, which includes three summits, three peaks, one that counts towards the 48, uh, two that count towards the 48, I'm sorry, and one that doesn't. This is a loop trail. From what I'm told, it's about nine or 10 miles and we're gonna hit Lafayette and Lincoln. And Lafayette is the biggest, tallest mountain outside of the presidential range, so I'm gonna be tackling my first over 5,000 footer today. So I'm pretty excited. So join me on my journey here, and I'll report back as we get deeper into the trip. Thank you. Okay guys, as you can see, we're here at the Falling Waters Trail. We're gonna stay to the right. And this is where the loop kind of starts. And we'll go down Old Bridal Path on the way back. Um, it's cold up here today, 55 degrees or so. Totally expecting some rain. And it's getting chillier up here in New Hampshire, so I'm gonna have to start thinking hats and gloves here pretty soon. But this is a very heavily trafficked trail and one of the most popular trails here in New Hampshire. So I didn't do a ton of research because I've talked to a lot of people who have done this loop and I guess it's fantastic views both on the way up and at the top. So yeah, I'll report back as needed, but I'm just kind of enjoy this trail today. I'm here by myself and uh, it's going to take my time and just uh, catch some zen, so to speak. So I'll report back. All right, everybody, less than a mile in, and I would never deny anybody this view. Nice little waterfall healer uh, here heading up Falling Waters Trail. Probably a good name for it. Um, just beautiful. Had it been a better day, summer day. Probably just go there and just cool off, but we're on a bigger mission. Three peaks today. Got to keep moving. I'll be back. So we are about one and a half miles in Falling Waters Trail. And man, I almost didn't do this. I almost just said, Let's go up and just do Lincoln and Lafayette out and back. Why bother with Haystack? Because it's not on the list. Well, I don't want to give it away, but let's just say they call it Falling Waters Trail for a reason. Uh, I have not been disappointed. And even if you don't do any of the summits, this is just a great little day trip to sit and have a lunch, spend some time outdoors. So I don't want to give it away. If you want to do some research, go ahead. But I'm going to continue on. Talk to you soon. All right, 3.3 miles in here, heading over from Haystack over to Lincoln, which on the map says it's 0 0.7 miles. And it is just completely foggy. Clouds completely socked in up here. Uh, the wind is just whipping. I just kind of... Uh, seeked out some shelter here behind these big rocks but the trail is is wide open from uh from haystack over to where i am now easy to find uh there's definitely white blaze marks and the last half mile up to haystack is kind of where that trail really picks up and you get a little winded so i uh, just didn't want to shoot some video over there it's just too windy you probably couldn't hear anything so so far so good uh, a little worrisome because my hands are a bit cold. You get a little colder because I had been sweating. So the temperature up here, much different than on the ground. And the wind is just really whipping at some point. So um, be careful. Uh, do your research. Uh, I'm not too concerned because I've seen a few hikers already today. So if it got to a point where I was feeling, you know, really lost or scared, I know that I could just kind of hunker down somewhere and wait for somebody because I'm sure someone's on their way. There was quite a few cars in the parking lot, but I'll report back to you if and when I find Lincoln. I don't know if there's any signage. Maybe there'll be some people up there so I'll know, but 
I'll be back. All right, here we are at the summit of Mount Lincoln. Again, completely just socked in, so there's no real views. I'm gonna step back here behind these rocks. I did just see a hiker, and uh, he confirmed that I'm where I'm supposed to be. He came over from Mount Lafayette, so we're gonna head over that way. He did warn me to be careful because it is super windy, uh, but it does die down when you start getting out of the, uh, the, the ridge here and heading back down the bridle path. So, happy to be known I'm going the right way. I am definitely cold. Uh, I, I feel like I'm a little overdressed compared to the, some of the people I've seen wearing shorts and literally a guy with just a t-shirt on. So, um, maybe I shouldn't be as nervous, but in any case, it's cool to know that I'm where I'm supposed to be and going the right way. So I'm sorry I can't give you the views that I want to give you that I know are up here, but this is all part of it. It's all part of the journey. Number 12 of 48 for myself. See you soon. Man, what a, what a wild ride it's been. I had to take some shelter here behind this um, boulder to actually let my face warm up. The wind is just whipping so hard. I literally had to put my hand down uh, at a couple of points to just keep me upright. So 4.1 miles in, I think based on what I read uh, or what I saw on the sign, uh, Haystack was three miles in and then Lafayette was like 1.2. So I know I'm pretty close. Uh, looking forward to getting there. Bagging that peak and getting back down into the trees because it's been pretty wild. I'm just gonna just take you guys over here just to see what's going on, but it's kind of died down a little bit, but it's just blowing just so hard. All right, stay tuned. I'm gonna work my way over here. Okay, so based strictly on Lafayette. The wind is just so gnarly and it's just whipping right now. Uh, got some shelter here behind these rocks and it's definitely kind of brutal. Just give you a quick peek here. is literally trying to knock me over so I'm gonna get over here and from what this gentleman told me I'm not too far from kind of getting off the ridge and back onto the, the bridle trail uh, to get back to the car so see what happens okay guys so here we are I know you probably can't see this sign but um, at here at the top of Mount Lafayette I'm looking for this old bridle path We'll just kind of tuck ourselves behind here. Man, it's been so gnarly up here. Uh, looking forward to getting off the, the top of the mountain and heading into the trees and warm up a little bit and have some grub. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what the mileage is. I've been keeping my hands in my pocket to keep them warm, but I'll update you on all that stuff here very shortly when I can get a chance to just stop and collect my thoughts. But. Pretty gnarly ride so far. <laughs> Glad I'm here. 13 of 48. The highest one I've done so far. I believe it's 5,200 something feet. Whew. Super proud, super pumped. Talk to you soon. Wow. Okay, so we managed to salvage some views here, everybody. We're on the Greenleaf Trail, heading off the Franconia Ridge Trail. There in the distance, you can see Cannon. 
You got a view of the cannonballs and the kinsmen's right there. Uh, up over here, still clouds. But I was <laughs> over there somewhere and I don't know where. But I saw some hikers coming up and they assured me I'm on the right path to go to where I'm going. I want you to stay with me here and, and continue to watch this footage because I'm going to share with you a story uh, when I get to a, a spot where I'm comfortable doing so. So stay tuned, but this has probably been the best for you so far. Uh, Haystack, Lincoln, Lafayette, two of the 48s today, number 13. 12 and 13 for me and it has been a wild one. I am very happy to be coming out of the alpine zone getting into the trees. The wind has died down and now I guess at least these views right here have definitely been worth it. So stay with me. Okay guys coming off the, the Greenleaf trail here you can actually hit the Greenleaf hut snacks, water, um, and bathrooms, which is always a plus. They do have a cool whiteboard in there and um, it tells you kind of the temperature and things like that. So an interesting stat I wanted you to know is that the winds are 90 miles an hour at the top. Um, things that are funny to think back on <laughs> that I was up there. Hurricane force winds, completely crazy. What a day it's been. Don't know my mileage or my time. I'm just wanting to kind of get down, get back to the car and just heat up a little bit. But it, it's definitely warmer now that I'm off of the mountain. I'm gonna continue down this bridle path and that'll take me back to where I started. So it's a nice little loop. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Wanna know how cold it was at the top? My Snickers bar actually froze. Wild. Okay guys, I wanted to just share this story with you because it's it's literally irking me and, and eating away at me so much that I actually talked to some people up at the Greenleaf Hut. When I was at the top of Lafayette, there was another guy up there and he said, hey, how was it over on Lincoln, you know, over to Haystack? And I said, dude, it is, it's cold, it's windy. To me, it wasn't optimal. So... You know, after I just shot some video, I, I did some other stuff, I saw him not going the right way. And I said, hey man, I thought you were going the other way. He's like, no, I'm gonna head back. And I said, okay, no problem. I said, did you come up bridal? And he said, yes, I did. But I saw him going the opposite way. So I'm super concerned that he went the wrong way and it's irking me and I got to the hut and I was telling these people the story and they were like, don't worry about it, there are signs. He'll be able to figure it out but you know that the signs were clearly there and you have to read them but he swore he came in a certain way so I, I let him go on his way and I, I hope that he's safe but it, it did kind of hit me emotionally that I, that I hope the guy is all right and you can get seriously you can get lost up here thank god there's signage that'll get you somewhere off the mountain and there's trails going down so I, I feel much much better but it was, it was, it's been an emotional ride today, but I, I definitely have gained some experience. I still have another couple miles before I get out of here, but um, I wanted to let you guys know that it's, it's no joke. And it was, it's been pretty, pretty cool um, and scary and fun and all that wow. stuff at the same time. So we'll talk to you soon. So it's crazy to think, and I, 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 I can't be sure, okay, but that cloud coverage right there, I believe is Lafayette. Those little sets of bumps right there, I remember being up there because I hid behind some. And then as you get further down, I don't know which one's Lincoln or Haystack, but I did that whole ridge right there. And I did that whole ridge to be higher so I could get these views. <laughs> so I'm salvaging some of this trip and getting some views on the way down, and that's perfectly fine. But this is a memory I'm going to hold on to for a while. Four point, I'll make that uh, seven miles in. 
four hours, 45 minutes total. My body and mind are coming back online and it's just crazy to look up there and, and know that that's where I was. And, and the people going up there now that I see on the trailer, you know, besides Lafayette, I think they're gonna be good to go on the rest of it. It looks like the clouds have, I mean, they're still rolling in, but they're not as low. And who knows what the wind and weather are up there, but maybe it's improved because the day, uh, the weather itself has improved today. So now coming out, definitely kind of warm, sweating a little bit, and we'll be back with the uh, post-game wrap-up when I get in the parking lot. Okay, so post-game wrap-up, and you know, what did we learn today? Um, as it usually says, expect the unexpected, you know, prepare, the weather changes quickly, and it certainly did. So I came down here, uh, well, when I got here this morning, there was probably two cars in this parking lot, now it is full. People up on the, uh, <laughs> the sidewalks and all over the place. So it's a very popular trail which is definitely a pro because, you know, people are on the trail, you can talk to people, you know, they can kind of guide you. And that really helped me out today because I talked to that one hiker who said, hey man, it's kind of confusing when you're on Lafayette. If you stay to the right, you're going to head over to Garfield. But if you stay to the left, you are going to get to where you need to go. The Greenleaf Trail to the Greenleaf Hut, down Bridle and back to the parking lot. And that one hiker, you know, he went the other way. Granted, I don't know where he parked or how he came up, but it seemed kind of strange. I hope that individual makes it out okay. Um, it It is kind of crappy because now the weather has just gotten much more beautiful. And as you're coming down, the, the clouds have disappeared. So the, my timing was just off today. But in reality, um, five, how many hours did it take me here? I think I was more closer to five and a half hours. Yeah, so five and a half hours. Um, I do. I would do this trail again. I, I really, really would. It was super fun. I don't think going up Falling Waters was that challenging compared to most. Um, good beginner hike, I'd say. You'll hurt the next day, but, but it is a, a good beginner hike. I didn't think it was that bad. I highly recommend to go up Falling Waters and down Bridal because Bridal, as I was going down, was definitely a lot steeper. So, wow, just a big rush of emotion today. Super proud, super stoked to just grab two peaks under those conditions and just see what it's like up there. Um, and I'm sure it's worse. I'm sure somebody has will watch this video and be like, man, I was up there in the winter and, you know, we roasted a pig up there. That's nothing. Okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it. But for a guy like me, it was it was definitely a test. I was cold. The side of my face was cold. My candy bar actually froze. My hands are still kind of numb, but it was an adventure. And I'm glad I completed it. I'm glad I finished it. There was people up there who decided to turn back, which probably wasn't a bad idea. But it was crazy coming down, seeing people with just t-shirts and shorts on because I'm like, man, they have no idea what's in store for them up top. So it was pretty gnarly, man. I was really, really stoked on this trip. And now I have to come back again to just see those views that everybody talks about. But, but coming down, there was still some good stuff. So thank you for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.